<laughs> Whoa. Oh boy. The world will never be the same. Brace for impact. <laughs> Give me the surf juice. Oh, that was cool. What is going on there guys, it's Moto7 here, and welcome to Season 4 on Fortnite. I am so excited, cannot wait to see what this season has to offer. There is a lot of new skins, new gliders, new map changes, I heard a lot about Dusty Depot and a lot has changed with it, and, then, and also there's even a little cinematic clip in the beginning just to show us what happens. Uh, what season four basically has to offer so here we go without further ado guys let's jump in to season four let's just jump in and see what season four has to offer here so we go here to the locker first off we'll start off with characters so we got our first one carbide and he's like a, he's like a superhero kind of looking guy um, and What's even cool about this that I'll get to later is the armor that you get for him. I'll talk about that stuff here in a second. Um, but yeah, so you have him, then next up, uh, Omega, and he is like the bad guy kind of looking person. He's like the same version as this guy, except he's the evil looking one. He's got the red on black instead of blue and black. Um, next up we have Valor. And she has an entire set, I'll get to that later with the glider and the axe and stuff like that. Um, next up we have the Battle Hawk, which is kind of like a basic skin, but a little bit more tactical and advanced looking, you know. Okay. And then next up we have Squad Leader, again, same thing, a little more tactical on him and whatnot. This one is pretty cool that a lot of people like, called Technique, and she's kind of like a graffiti girl. She um, is one of those like alley people who just like spray graffiti on the wall and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool skin, I like it. <laughs> and this next one's a little, little crazy there, but uh, the name for it is Zoe, and uh, it's basically like a candy theme kind of skin. It's definitely out there, <laughs> but oh, overall, it is what it is. <laughs> Um, not my personal favorite, but whatever. I just go with these. Uh, but anyway, so there's the skins. Um, as for back bling, we got a couple of new ones. So we got this one, which is oh, turn around. That looks awful on this guy, I know. But we have the goodie bag, which is part of the with the sweet tooth set, so it goes on the skin of Zoe. And then we have. Oops, uh, we have this one, which goes with the uh, uh, the squad leader skin. So there's that for you. I like the flags, to be honest. Like the dark matter looks good on this guy. Um, all right, so the axes. We got a couple new ones here. This one being the Valor set or the Gale Force, as it's called, but it's part of the uh, Valor set. And look at how amazing this thing looks. That looks pretty cool. And then we also have the Lollipopper, of course, from the Sweet Tooth set. And that's pretty much it for that, but I like this one. And as for gliders, Wings of Valor is this one right here. It is amazing. It sounds cra It sounds like a me, like a super low-pitched jet engine. It sounds amazing. And overall, it just looks pretty badass. Um, and then we have this one, which again is the same kind of thing. Um, that you would use for carbide, or it's the carbide set, called a Trippid, and it looks pretty cool too, not gonna lie. And then, lastly, we have the Sugar Crash, or part of the Sweet Tooth set for the skin of Zoe. Um, but yeah, me personally, I would like this one. And then this one, 
So first up, for the new ones as they go, we have the hearts, we have lightning, that looks pretty cool. We have retro sci-fi, so it looks like those little alien booster jet things. And then my all-time favorite, shooting star, you, come, you can come down looking like a comet, falling in as a meteor and hitting the ground. It's but This one is definitely my favorite, I like this one a lot. And then there's also the spray paint one for the uh, technique skin, if you would like that. But I gotta go with this one. This one's really cool. Alright, and then a few new loading screens. Um, so we have this one, which is the technique skin. We also have the male counterpart for it as well, which I'm assuming they'll come out with pretty soon. Uh, we also have this. I'm not sure where this came from, but probably just some something to deal with the meteor hitting uh, hitting the Earth or hitting the Fortnite map. Um, then we have this one, the carbide loading screen, and this actually shows all the different armor pieces that you can unlock for him and his own little axe here. So again, I'll get to that in a moment here. Um, we have all the harms to do here. There we go. We have the Leviathan loading screen. We have Llama Spotted, which is the llama that you see when you're hiding in the bush. Um, we have the Raven, his own loading screen. This one's pretty funny. Uh, it's the Rex, so you're hiding from the... Uh, in this reference was from Jurassic Park when the kids were hiding from the Velociraptors. Pretty funny reference there. Um, the Squad Leader loading screen. And we have the one for Zoe. And then the one that I'm using right now is the supply drop where everyone's going for the supply drop. I think it's pretty funny. And then there's a lot of new emojis that I am really excited to go through. So we'll just go through all the dances because the emojis I really don't care about. Now we have the groovy jam. <laughs> Go, there's that one. Uh, where are some new ones here? There's one hyped, you're excited, ready for gameplay. And now, this one, probably my all time favorite, which I think is absolutely awesome that Epic put this in here, is the Orange Justice dance from that one kid who's like 12 years old um, that was in that contest. This is so awesome that they put this in here. I love that. I love that so much. Alright, moving on, we have this one. We have popcorn. He's just throwing it in his own face. <laughs> right. And then one more thing I want to talk about too is the little spray paint thing that you can do now. Basically, if you put this on, it'll just spray paint either the ground or wall, whatever, but it'll do that picture just to kind of give a more relevance to the technique skin and what's all what all that has to offer so that's basically what that is um, but I'm just gonna keep everything that I have already and then yeah that's pretty much it for that all of season four new dances and whatnot and characters uh, skins back bling and all that good stuff but anyway now moving on to the armor that you can get and you can also get this for the Omega character as well and there's more so for carbide I've already gotten two so you just have to reach these season levels and you'll unlock these new um, parts of armor for him so once you get like to the higher levels there's an arm helmet I've already gotten his like main torso and his legs now I need his arms his helmet and then when you get to high level you get like crazy lit up glowing torso armor and whatnot. It's just like it looks better. And then for the hammer with this axe right here, I need one more challenge um, to earn this. Okay, uh, let's go to this one, the Omega. And look at that hammer. Oh my gosh. Or axe. I always call it a hammer. <laughs> but yeah, so same thing, three challenges to get that. And then to unlock his main or his first kind of part 
of his torso armor, legs, arms, helmets, and then his crazy armor at the end, and that looks pretty cool. I can't wait to get there. Yeah, that's pretty much that. And then the one I skipped over, blockbuster challenges. So this looks like you can unlock an entire new character, is what this looks like. So complete any seven challenges, and I'm assuming these are the challenges that you had to do. Um, the, or these are the ones that you have to get. It says complete any challenges to unlock this. So these are just... I don't know if you have to do these to get this as well, or if it's just this for that. I'm not sure. Oh wait, actually, maybe like once you get this, then you complete all the challenges and you can unlock stuff for the new character that you unlocked here. I think that's what it's, uh, this is all about. So yeah, obviously this character is going to be huge. <laughs> um, but yep, so, and then just your regular weekly challenges. So yeah, and then also if you haven't noticed, oh yeah, and then a little bit more on these things too. Uh, hop rocks. So when you go into the crater of the where the big meteor hit, as well as there's a bunch of little mini craters that there's one at Tilted, there's one at the prison by Moisty Meyer, um, and there's a few more. But there's these little uh, things called hop rocks, and you, when you consume them, it makes you jump like super high. They're like low gravity things, and so that way you don't take fall damage when you're fall like when you're falling. So you can jump off a building and it'll kind of just slow you down so you land softly or you can just jump really high. It's, it's basically a low gravity kind of like consumable if you want to call it that. Um, but they're pretty cool. I like that a lot. But yes and then also this, if you didn't notice already, this really crazy background of a crater. Pretty neat stuff. But anyway guys, so that is pretty much all I have to review that came out for the Season 4 Battle Pass. And as of right now, this will just be an update video on all that stuff. Um, later on, I'll post an actual gameplay of Season 4 and whatnot after this video. So, for this just being an update, I want to thank you guys for listening. And as always, this is Moto7 here, signing off.